So the next tile across is the vehicle profile. Um, again, generally if you have a steering system, it'll be installed by the supplier or the, or the dealer. Um, but if you want to create a new one, again, just click on that tile. Again, you can save more than one profile in these screens. So you can see this, this screen currently has two tractor profiles in it. But to create a new one, just hit new. Gives you all the types of vehicles that you can select. Um, so generally it's a tractor, but if you fit into a combine, choose a combine one or a self-propelled sprayer, whichever it may be. So in this case, tractor. Next arrow, and then go through the list of the make and series. So, Massey Ferguson, um, 76 model 7618 options whether it's a base model or a can ready we'll just use base and then you can give it a name so if there's more than one tractor in the fleet with the same model you can personalize the name to the registration or whatever it may be so so once you're happy with all that just hit the next arrow across and then this is where you look for your steering options. Um, so when you press on this, you generally only see manual guidance unless you have your unlocks in for your steering system. But for this demo, we're just gonna set up a manual guidance machine. So just click on the manual guidance, hit next. First thing it wants to know is the orientation of the nav controller on the roof. So the top of the screen, referencing the front of the tractor so as you're looking down on a bird's eye view the orientation of that nav controller so you can put in direct entries or you can rotate it here using the buttons so generally the nav controller is fitted with the connectors to the back but you know it, it can be fitted in any orientation so just make sure that matches once you're happy Go to the right arrow and then it'll ask you for the measurements of the antenna. So the antenna height, um, any left right offset there may be and also the distance between the rear axle to the antenna. Because with these systems it always uses the centre of the rear axle as the datum point for any implants being attached or anything like that. So, okay. so with the antenna height just just check that so um, it will auto populate that from the database for that specific vehicle but that can change due to tire sizes fitted and wheels and what have you so just double check that it is correct if you need to change it like I said just click on it enter your new value once you're happy just accept it um, with the antenna left right normally fitted center but it doesn't have to be if there is an offset make sure you put it in there and then the rear axle to the antenna so with a manual guidance you generally want your antenna fitted slightly forward from the rear axle um, but just make sure that measurement is correct anyway so we'll put in 0.3 Then move neck across, and then this will ask you for the rest of the dimensions of the tractor. So it needs to know the rear axle to the tow hitch and the rear axle to the three point hitch. Again, just when you're putting in your implements, you know, it needs to know this that information to get your coverage mapping correct. Again, with the wheelbase, it's just basically from center of the rear axle to the center of the front axle. Again, it will pull this out of a database, but they can vary slightly depending on whether you've got a suspended front axle, standard front axle, super steer, whatever it may be. So just double check that one as well. And then it wants an overall tractor width. So I'll just put a measurement in there. And hit next. Once you've got all that information correct, um, it'll just give you a summary. 
So you can double check all the measurements that you have put in there and once you're happy with everything, just accept it. And it adds the tractor to your list. Okay, so it's this 7618 test is the one that we created. You can see we have three profiles in there, so just to select whichever one you want, just highlight the one you want and then hit select and it moves the black dot to the correct vehicle. So I'm just going to put it back on the 7718 because this vehicle has a steering, so I'll leave it on that. 